hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm back with another video so on today's video i'm going to color my hair and i'll also do a mold after so i just got a fresh cut let me show you so i just got a fresh cut especially like at the back and the side i wanted it to be a little bit shorter on the sides and the back so i just got a fresh cut and then the top i just asked them to make it like nice and leveled but we didn't really take much hair up here so now i'm going to put on some color and uh yeah i'll also do a mold after so the dye that i'm using is this dark and lovely color intensity and it's a permanent color yeah so this is the one i'm using and it's in original black so yeah this is what i'm going to use and then inside it has uh like step one which is the color and step two which is i think the activator it's also like a treatment care thingy like this and there's information and also some gloves but i like to use the latex gloves so i'm just going to go ahead and um, mix the color and the developer in my mixing bowl and i also have my brush here so by coloring my hair like black i find that it actually makes it seem like i have lots of hair even though i don't have lots of hair but when it's like all black and all it actually looks fuller so that's why i like using black color and yeah i haven't relaxed my hair since like december since like the first time i cut my hair so i'm not really planning on relaxing my hair anytime soon i might relax maybe in like march or end of feb but i'll probably do sort of like a partial relax so i'm only relaxing like the size because the less you relax your hair especially if you don't have lots of hair like me um the, the growth like the the natural hair gives me more volume than my relaxed hair so i have everything in here and i'm just mixing it with the back of my brush so I'm done mixing everything and I have my gloves on. I'm just going to go ahead and start applying. I'm going to start applying the top part, which is the longer part. And then I will do the sides. Maybe I'll get Nathan to help me do the back because I don't really have a mirror.
So I am done applying the color all over my hair. So now I'm just going to go ahead and wait. I'm not going to cover it or anything. Just going to sit like this and wait for about 15-20 minutes. And then I'll go and rinse and then I'll come back and mold my hair. So I am back from rinsing my hair. And this is how it looks. I rinsed off the color. And this is how the back looks. And so to rinse off the color, I use the Tresemme shampoo and conditioner. I think it's the extreme moisture ones, but it's like my everyday shampoo and conditioner that we have here at home. So now I'm going to mold my hair and I'm going to start by applying the leave-in conditioner. And this is the Cantu Shea Butter Leave-in Conditioner. As always, I'm just using a little bit, not too much. So I'm going to apply this all over my hair, mostly on the top section where i have long hair so i'm actually like really really excited like to work with this new cut that i have so this time i'm going to part my hair i'm just doing like a side part And I'm going to apply the uh, foaming lotion and this is the Design Essential Foaming Wrap Lotion. And I like to start the top. And so yeah, I didn't cut my hair this time. I actually went to a salon to get a haircut. So I'm going to use my retail comb to distribute the foaming lotion. And I find that like the more I comb my mouth, it actually just straighten the hair. So if I just put it like that, it doesn't really come out as flat as if I use the retail comb. And the retail comb has to be like really good quality, like strong. So that everything can just like lay down flat. So molding is actually like really really important when you have a pink C cut, especially if you are like a woman of color and you have a pink C cut. Like molding just makes everything looks clean and smooth. So I actually do this like once a week, like not coloring though, <laughs> actually mold my hair like once a week and I can go about my business like the whole week without redoing it. I can, what I can do if I'm going like out and I need my hair to look good, I can do sort of like a dry mold 
where I just apply like the foaming lotion in areas like my front pieces here and a little bit on the sides, especially the back because I sweat a lot and it's hot. Like the back, I think now I'm not going to have a problem with that because my hair is extremely short. So we'll see. So I'm not going to do anything like special because I don't really have like the side bangs here. I'm just going to sort of like shape it here. And just brush everything down. And then I don't really like when my hair is like on my face. So I'm going to push it back a little bit right here on the front. I'm gonna do sort of like um, waves, just like basic shaping in the front. I'm still trying to learn how to do like proper waves, so I'm just shaping it a little bit, like how you would do your baby hairs. So now I'm taking my wrapping strips and these are the rabbit styling strips in black and I think these are the large ones. So I normally just use like two of them and I make sure like I stretch them to like the fullest. And they're actually like quite long. I'm just gonna chop this off and that's about it so like I said on my previous video I don't really sit under the dryer as much especially if I'm not going anywhere I can just let my hair air dry and it normally takes me about 20-30 minutes to dry my hair so that's what I'm gonna do and I'll come back and show you the final results when I'm done so I am back now with my hair all dry. I am taking my paper scissors and I'm about to remove these wrap strips. So this is my hair all dry now. This is how the bag looks. I'm loving the fact that it's not like rolling here the bag. Um, it used to roll a lot when I had my hair long. So I think this will actually last me longer. So yeah, that's my hair done. I'm not gonna comb it i'm just gonna leave it like this i'll probably add a little bit of oil on top because it's a little bit stiff but i will only style it tomorrow so today it was just only about like how i color my hair and showing you guys the new cut that i had so yeah thank you so much for watching my video i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys on my next one bye